Everything begins as an idea. This book was first an idea. The idea for this book was to solve a problem. I needed some books to give as gifts to a couple little boys. I wanted to invest in their future. And I wanted to give them books, but not just any books, children's books that could effectively teach them God's will and introduce them to their purpose. The problem was, I couldn't find those books. So I ended up buying a couple illustrated books for kids, and when I read them, I found them to be poorly written and misguided. That's when I knew I had to write this book. I wrote God has a purpose for you because the most important discovery in life is the discovery of purpose. This little book is powerful. It's an introduction to God's purpose that connects us to our self-worth and significance. I discovered my purpose when I discovered God. I also discovered he has a purpose for every human being. No human is a mistake. People everywhere are trying to figure out why they are here. It is my goal to share his message of purpose with everyone. I took the idea for the book and wrote it in 12 days. I designed the layout on pieces of construction paper and fastened them to a wall. I worked day and night and didn't stop to eat. While you were sleeping, I was working. When I finished the story, I envisioned the pictures. It begins with an empty page. Because what we are doing is taking you back to the source of everything. And before there was anything, there was God, the source. Before there was a planet, before there was earth, before there were parents, before there was your birth, you were in God before the world began. He chose you and predestined you according to his plan. God determined your purpose, and then he began you. You were an idea in his heart. You were conceived and came forth from your mother's womb. That's when you were born. And the search for purpose begins. There are 7.7 .7 billion people on the planet today, and everyone has a purpose. No one was born to be a failure. One of the most amazing principles I discovered in my life is the power of a seed. There's a tree inside every seed. Here's an apple. If you open that apple, in that apple you'll find a little group of seeds, little brown seeds. Do you know that in those seeds are apple trees? And there are apples in those seeds as well. So that means the future of that apple is inside the apple. And the future of the apple seed is inside the seed. God created everything with the seed of itself inside itself. That's why God doesn't create trees anymore. Because the seed of itself is in itself. The future of everything is in the thing. That's its gift. The gift of a seed is the tree. When God created you, he packaged you. You came with everything you're supposed to become. It's inside of you. Children are not really who their parents think they are. They're carrying something. That's why they're called seeds. Seeds carry gifts. No parent can tell their child what they should become because they don't know what they're carrying. Parents don't really understand who their children are or what they are destined to become. This is why we should never judge people by what they are today. They might still look like a seed, but the potential of their future is there. It's just trapped inside. All it needs is the right environment and a little process. When I searched for an artist to draw the pictures for this book, I found a hidden treasure, a gift with a gift inside. Her name is Tatiana. This is Tatiana on her 24th birthday. And here 
is her first self-portrait. She is a master painter. She is also an art teacher. The pictures in this book are really incredible. Tatiana painted them with watercolors on paper, and then she scanned the paintings and transferred them into digital images. These are realistic pictures of real people and things and places in the natural world. The pictures tell a success story, starting from where you came from to when you were born, all the way to the end. Purpose is the end. It's you finished. It took only 12 days to write the book, but the pictures took over six months. What is purpose? Purpose is the motivation for creation. Purpose is the reason why something was created. Purpose is the will of the mind of the creator of a thing. We need to understand how life should be lived because we lost our understanding of God's purpose for us in creation. No one knows a product or how it should function better than the one who made it. Purpose is defined in the Hebrew as original intent or the will of a mind. God's will is God's purpose. When people don't know God's will, they will pursue their own ideas of what they think it means to be successful. You will only experience success carrying out plans that are in sync with God's purpose for you. No matter how big your plans, they don't change God's purpose. God has a purpose for you was written to help everyone be able to first believe that they have a purpose, that they were brought into the world for a reason. Second, why they need to discover their purpose. Purpose is your life's assignment. It's God's will for your life. You can't do God's will if you don't know it. And third, how to discover their purpose It's possible to miss your purpose. You can live your whole life and not know why. Only God knows your purpose. This is about you discovering God's purpose. The discovery of your purpose is the discovery of you. First, you need to find God's purpose yourself. Nothing is yours until you discover it. You can only teach what you've learned. If you are a parent or grandparent or an aunt or uncle, brother or sister, perhaps you are a teacher or a youth pastor, you are responsible to preserve the message of God's purpose and carry on this message so future generations will know who they are and why they are here. I encourage you to buy a copy of this book for every member in your household and for the households of your children and grandchildren, your neighbors and friends. Give a copy of this book to your pastor and your school counselor. Your purpose is why you are here. Your purpose is your destiny. It's what makes you dream. If you've stopped dreaming, 
you need to find your purpose. The dream you had as a child is still with you. You know, something interesting about little children is that they dream. They use their imagination. They are not worried about light bills and food bills and mortgage and rent. They're having fun. And that's what God desires for you. He wants you to discover your purpose so he can pay for it and you can have fun fulfilling God's dream and enjoy your years on earth. Purpose is the key to living a joyful and fulfilled life. Your purpose is what you were born to do. When you see your purpose in pictures, it's called vision. God's purpose for you is the source of your vision and gives meaning to your life. When you believe your dream and your vision, then it begins to attract its own resources. The vision attracts unlimited resources of an unlimited God. God is the source of vision. It was his idea to begin with. What he put in your heart. He's hoping someday you will find him so he can finance it. Whatever God planned for, he pays for. Whatever God calls for, he provides for. 